Uncleftlish Beholding by Paul Anderson. For most of its being, mankind did not know what things are made of, but could only guess. With the growth of Will Ken, we began to learn, and today we have a beholding of stuff and work that watching bears out, both in the workstead and in daily life. The underlying kinds of stuff are the first stuffs, which link together in sundry ways to give rise to the rest. Formerly we knew of 92 first stuffs, from water stuff, the lightest and bearers, to Emir stuff, the heaviest. Now we have made more, such as Aga stuff and Hell stuff. The first stuffs have their being as moats called unclefts. These are mighty small, one seed weight of water stuff holds a tail of them like unto two followed by twenty-two noughts. Most unclefts link together to make what are called bulk bits. Thus, the water stuff bulk bit bestands of two water stuff unclefts, the sour stuff bulk bit of two sour stuff unclefts, and so on. Some kinds, such as sun stuff, keep alone. Others, such as iron, cling together in ices when in the fast standing, and there are yet more yoke waves. When unlike clefts link in a bulk bit, they make bindings. Thus, water is a binding of two water stuff unclefts with one sour stuff uncleft with a bulk bit of one of the four stuffs making up flesh, may have a thousand thousand or more unclefts of these two first stuff together with coal stuff and choke stuff. At first it was thought that the uncleft was a hard thing that could be split no further, hence the name. Now we know it is made up of lesser moats. There is a heavy kernel with a forward burnstonish lading, and around it one or more light moats with backward ladings. The least uncleft is that of ordinary water stuff. Its kernel is a lone forward-laden moat called a first bit. Outside it is a backward-laden moat called a burnstone bit. The first bit was a heaviness about 1840-fold that of the burnstone bit. Early world can folk thought burnstone bits swing around the kernel like the earth around the sun, but now we understand that they are more like waves or clouds. In all other unclefts are found other moats as well, about as heavy as the first bit but with no lading known as neither bits. We know a kind of water stuff with one neither bit in the kernel along with the first bit. Another kind has two neither bits. Both kinds are seldom. The next greatest first stuff is sun stuff, which has two first bits and two burnstone bits. The everyday sort also has two neither bits in the kernel. If there are more or less, the uncleft will soon break asunder. More about this later. The third first stuff is stone stuff, with three first bits, three burnstone bits, and its own share of neither bits. And so it goes on through such everyday stuffs as coal stuff, six first bits, or iron, twenty-six first bits, to ones more lately found. Emir stuff, ninety-two first bits, was the last until man began to make some higher still. It is the burnstone bits that link, and so their tail fast sets how a first stuff behaves and what kind of bulk bits it can help make. The wool ken of this behaving, in all its manifold ways, is called mingling ken. Minglingers have found that as the uncleftlish tail of the first offs, that is, the tail of first offs in their kernels, waxes, after a while they bing- begin to show own ships not unlike those of others that went before them. So, for a show deal, stone stuff, three, glasswort stuff, eleven, Potash stuff 19, red stuff 37, and blue grey stuff 55 can each link with only uncleft of water stuff, while co stuff 6, flint stuff 14, German stuff 22, tin 50, and lead 82 can each link with 4. This is readily seen when all are set forth in what is called the round around board of the first stuffs. When an uncleft or a bulk bit wins one or more burnstone bits above its own, it takes on a backward lading. When it loses one or more, it takes on a forward lading. Such a moat is called a fara, for that the drag be- between unlike ladings flits it. When burnstone bits flit by themselves, it may be seen as a bolt of lightning, a spark off some fast standing chunk, or the everyday flow of burnstone through wires. Coming back to the uncleft itself, the heavier it is, the more neither bits as well as first bits in its kernel. Indeed, soon the tail of neither bits is the greater. Unclefts with the same tail of first bits but unlike tails of neither bits are called same steads. Thus, everyday sour stuff has eight nether bits with its eight first bits. 
but there are also kinds with 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, and 11 neither bits. The same stead is known by the tale of both kernel modes, so that we have sour stuff 13, sour stuff 14, and so on, with sour stuff 16 being by far the most found. Having the same number of burnstone bits, the same steads of a first stuff behave almost alike minglingly. They do show some unlikenesses outstandingly among the heavier ones, and these can be worked to some the same steads from each other. Most same steads of every first stuff are unabiding. Their kernels break up, each at its own speed. This speed is written as the half-life, which is how long it takes half of any deal of the same stead thus to shift itself. The doing is known as light trotting. It may happen fast or slowly, and in any kind of sultry ways, of handing the makeup of the kernel. A kernel may spit out two first bits with two neither bits, that is, a sun stuff kernel, thus leaping two steads back in the roundabout, round around board and four weights back in heaviness. It may give off a burnstone bit from a neither bit, which thereby becomes a first bit and thrust the uncleft one stead up in the board while keeping the same weight. It may give off a forward bit, which is a moat with the same weight as a burnstone bit but a forward lading, and thereby spring one stead down in the board while keeping the same weight. Often, too, a moat is given off with neither lading nor heaviness, called the we neither bit. In much light trotting, a moat of light with most short wavelength comes out as well. For although light oftenest behaves as a wave, it can be looked on as a moat, the light bit. We have already said, by the way, that a moat of stuff can behave not only as a chunk, but as a wave. Down among the unclefts, Things do not happen in steady flowings, but in leaps between bestandings that are forbidden. The knowledge hunt of this is called lump beholding. Nor are stuff and work unakin. Rather, they are groundwise the same, and one can be shifted into the other. The kinship between them is that work is like unto weight manifolded by the foresight of the haste of light. By shooting motes into kernels, Wildkent folk has sh shifted same steads of one first stuff into same steads of another. Thus did they make Irma stuff into Aegis stuff and Hell stuff, and they have afterward gone beyond these. The heavier first stuffs are all highly light troddish, and therefore are not found in the green world. Some of the higher same steads are splitly, that is, when a neither bit strikes the kernel of one, as for a show deal Irma stuff 235, it bursts into lesser kernels and fr free neither bits. The latter can then split more Ema stuff 235. When this happens, weight shifts into work. It is not much of the whole, but nevertheless it is awesome. With enough strength, lightweight and kles can be made to together melt. In the sun, through a row of strikings and light trottings, four and clefts of water stuff in this wise become one of sun stuff. Again, some weight is lost as work, and again this is greatly big when set beside the work begotten from a minglish doing such as fire. Today we wield both kind of unclefflish doings and weapons, and kernelish splitting gives us heat and burnstoneness. We hope to do likewise with together melting, which would yield an unhemmed wellspring of work for mankindish good gain. Soothly we live in mighty years.